This is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Every day, once a day, give yourself a present. Don't plan it, don't wait for it, just let it happen. It could be a new shirt at the men's store, a cat nap in your office chair, or two cups of good, hot, black coffee. Like this. It's the present. Like Christmas. Hello, welcome back to the crafting day. Right, ah. haven't even started, and my yarn is twisted up. That's fine. So, as I was falling asleep last night, I realized what I need to do in order to get this um hey i'm good how are you i realized last night what i need to do is in order to get this diamond shape so i'm going to attempt it 
and see what happens. So let me know if the balance is okay. I adjusted a few things um, for the music. And I shall get to crafting. I can see, I can do the on time thing. Yay! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I can barely do the on time thing for my own stream. Hello, Skyzer. How are you? Doing all right, thank you. I am uh, working on a hat. So I started this in my stream yesterday. I'll give you kind of the roundabout look at it. Um, and started this in my stream yesterday, and now I'm picking up where I left off. Trying to create a diamond pattern, um, for this. Where's my horse? <laughs> Nightbot is here. Nightbot is always here. <laughs> Night bubble. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it starts already. Been live for like maybe ten minutes. Fights are breaking out. Whoever thought there could be so much drama in a knitting broadcast? Yes. All right. Five. Okay, cool. So I like this, but now I'm wondering if I'm really going to get a diamond shape because I went a couple extra rows with the cream than I was originally intending to. I'm trying to visualize it in my head. I may genuinely go back and take off. Yeah, crap. Well, backwards knitting is uh, always an experience. Just gonna <laughs> undo the last few rows because I realized I don't actually want it to be this wide of a diamond in the creamish, beige-ish color. Um, I'd like it to be about the same length as everything else. This is where all <laughs> it's true. It's actually kind of true. Um, I do feel because like it's pretty obvious that there's gonna be drama in my gaming streams because I'm you know I'm gaming and I'm, I'm playing games mostly that involve you know melee and strategy and, and searching things out. Um, so it's sort of a given that uh, drama is gonna go down, but. The, the true drama happens in these streams where I can actually, you know, talk to people and people want to fight my auto mod. And <laughs> Little does everyone know. You'd think that unknitting 
would be faster than knitting because right you're removing stitches you're you know, as opposed to adding stuff and just kind of pulling the yarn out but it's it's not actually at least not for me damn Paul was asking for it oh my god was it though was it <laughs> There's two sides to every story, my son. I'll do some work on Nightbot and get things a little bit more, um, a little bit more Kakashi friendly. Hopefully this week. Like I said, I'm still learning about a lot of these things. <laughs> Emote. Uh. Oh, I see. Dropping stitches is what I do not wish to do. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Fixed. Be back. Okay. I shall be here. How's everybody's week so far? I know it's only Tuesday. But uh, I hope thus far it has been a good week for you. I hope you're getting plenty of food and sleep and water. safe and well pulled like six stitches off the needle at once. That is not what I wanted. No. In here. A little bit better. Solid. Now the question is, do I want to go back one more row? Or do I want it to be... Hmm. If I want a true diamond, I should go back one row. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, it's okay though. In some ways I'm actually kind of more okay with it because it will save me this creamish yarn, which I plan on using for another hat anyway. So I'll have a little bit more yarn. So that's good. nice and even. It'll be a very clean diamond shape. And this is part of crafting, you know? Especially for something like this where I'm making the pattern up as I go. It leaves more room for error, yes, but also leaves more room for learning and adapting and 
figuring out what I want. Because I've never made a hat with this design before. So I am winging it, as the saying goes. Also, if you like the music that is playing, I have a direct link to the crafting playlist in my About section. And as always, let me know if the balance between my voice and the music that you're hearing is good, if you need anything turned up or down, just let me know and I shall adjust accordingly. Water. So nice. Okay, so this gets us back to the beginning of this round, so we can start making the diamond. Hurrah, all right. Oops. My stitch marker came off the needles. Rude. And that's where I want it. All right, one, two, three. Yes, and then two, four, five. Yep, okay, cool. So it's gonna be offset by three. And the rest is just as usual. Gotcha. Is that what I want? Yes, it is. Okay. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
I was just looking at it and now I'm like, the cream diamond is actually a little bit thinner than I think I wanted. But it's, it's going to look fine because I still have to taper the yellow in more so there will be more. More of this beige color that will be seen and this will look how I want it. Which is, as the uh, name of the hat suggests, like a diamondback rattlesnake. Not exactly, obviously, right? But to kind of give the same general feeling. That's the idea. Yeah, it's good. The problem now is that I have all this loose yarn from having removed those rows. Uh. Which will work itself out, you know, it'll be fine, but right now it's just twist a tangly. So many twists, so little time. Meh. 
as always my cat is doing something adorable off screen <laughs> he's just napping on the ottomans again come on come on no Aha. 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 Yes, yes, yes. done this correctly and there should be two left after this next yellow color yay cool hurrah oh hi kitten you want to come sit you gonna come sit? Come on, baby. Yeah. Uh huh. You wanna show off your butt? Oh, okay. Never mind. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for the three seconds of love. and desist order for this yarn to twist around itself. Step. I'm gonna get, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just keep checking to make sure that my pattern is in fact 
shaping up as my brain thinks it will. And so far so good. Which is a good sign. Good sign. I will take it. the cat. Does the cat wish to sit on my lap? Oh, come on. Jasper? You gonna come sit? Hmm? Hi baby. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'll get your cat cam on, don't worry. There. Yeah, how was your lunch? Cam! Oh yes, he's here. We'll see how long he stays. But at least for now, the cat cam is live. going okay so far I uh, I put up some small instrument hangers for my ukulele and cavaquinho in my studio so now they actually have a place to live which is good because before I was just sort of setting them on my couch um, but now they actually have their own little dedicated spot on the wall and they're really cute um, got my episode that's uh, coming out tomorrow finally uploaded to YouTube but today and uh, yeah pretty much just doing the social media stuff did my dishes it's very exciting I lead a very, very glamorous life here in Los Angeles, the city of movie stars and rock stars and fame and glory. And I'm over here doing my dishes and knitting with a cat on my lap. I like it though. They are expensive, yeah. Unless, you know, like, it's I'm mostly self-taught I actually didn't start taking lessons until I had been teaching myself for a few years um, 
not saying oh yes hey you want a little little snuggles <laughs> yeah yeah but uh but yeah no lessons are lessons can be really expensive especially if you actually find someone who charges what they're worth and charges what they should charge um lessons can get kind of pricey and also you know it's uh uh, it's especially tough right now, you know, with everything needing to be more distant and virtual. I think I, I still have a few friends who are teaching, um, you know, like via Zoom and, and stuff like that. And they seem to be making it work as best as you can make something like that work. I'm glad that I don't teach anymore, honestly. I taught for several years and... Uh, it is, I love the education side of things and like getting to see people's faces light up and, and sort of make the synapses connect, if you will, but it takes so much energy out of me to teach that I then don't have that energy to like put into actually doing my music. So if I have to choose between where my energy is going, it's going to go into my music as opposed to into teaching. So I, I coach occasionally, but it's definitely not the introductory stuff that I used to teach. Oh, and there it goes. Goodbye, cat cam. <laughs> I was wondering how long he was going to hang out. And that was also another sign to me, honestly, that, like, music teaching is something I can do, but, um, I'm gonna borrow a nice guitar. <laughs> hey, you know what? Sometimes we gotta acquire instruments. It's, it's uh, it's, it is a thing that happens. But, um, that's actually something I was, <laughs> what I was about to say was actually one of the biggest signs for me that, at least from like an introductory standpoint, I know I don't want to teach kids. Uh, the students that I connected more with tended to either be teens or like early college year, um... I had a handful of adult students. Um, maybe just one, honestly. I'm trying to think if I had more than one adult student. I don't think so. But, um... It just... Teaching drains me more than it fulfills me. And... There are so many people out there who really, truly should be music teachers and are, you know, so I would much rather leave the, leave it to them and I will offer my services when, you know, asked for and, and appropriate, but for the most part, I'm gonna, for being not good, all I, I, I under I, I empathize with that. I feel that description. Being an adult by society standards is like the worst possible thing that I've ever done. So I don't recommend it. Honestly.
every time, man. Tiny little fibers from the yarn. They get all up in my face. And then I look like I'm picking my nose on camera. And I'm like, I'm not. I promise. I'm just trying to breathe. I mean, I don't know that anything's wrong with picking your nose, but I, I, I don't know. Oh, not just that. <laughs> picking your nose. <laughs> it's never just us. I just want to clarify. I don't necessarily think that there's anything wrong if you, you gotta do what you gotta do, but um, I just, you know, want to, want to make a point of, of clarifying in the event someone does think that I'm doing it. I am not. How you doing today, Follows Night? Pretty good, good. Good to hear. So if my, yay, it's making a diamond. Do you for cool to skip? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, yeah, I've absolutely done that. And, um, you know, like some, it's something will like itch inside my nose or, you know, just one of those like moments where you just don't think about it. And, oh, iced tea. I made cold brew iced tea. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, that's, that has totally happened to me. And then, like, after the fact, I'm like, Oh crap. Am I around anyone right now? Like, are people looking at me like <laughs> I'm some kind of uncouth heathen over here? Just like, you know, look like it does kind of look like whiskey. But uh, I would, I like whiskey, don't get me wrong, but I am not gonna do this. <laughs> Not right now, anyway. I just, I don't know. I don't tend to, uh... Now, don't get me wrong. At the beginning of the pandemic, I spent about the first two weeks definitely not sober in a variety of ways. But, um... Most of the time, I'm I'm pretty chill. Oh god, a drink a drinking stream. I ugh. I think I might have to mark if I do that. I might have to change my channel to be like mature audiences only because I wouldn't want any underage anybody. Um, that's kind of the only thing is like I don't know how to make it so that only. 21 up like if, if it's I don't care really 18 if it's the drinking age in the country where they are or whatever but like I don't I can't regulate that so I don't know how to yeah I don't know how I would even go about doing that to be honest that's so complicated because I do not want my channel to get shut down <laughs> for like inappropriate whatever and it's not like I'd be promoting it, you know. I f thoroughly believe that, like, you know, everybody's going to make their own choices. Everybody likes what they like. So they don't like what they don't like. If you, you know, as long as you're not going overboard, I think you can only make it 18 plus. Okay. Um, which, again, like, some places the drinking age is 18, and so... I don't have any qualms with that, but 
I can't like, yeah, again, I can't regulate it. So I don't know how I would even ensure that I'm not broadcasting to American underage drinkers. So I'll just avoid it for now. Is it a little diamondy shape? It's a little diamondy shape. Cool. I'll show y'all once I get this um, ugh, last little round situated. Really? We're doing this now? Why are we doing this now? I, I don't want to do this now. Sir. Okay. Slightly better. At the very least, not worse. So I'll take it. Um, my first dream is we do sub days or I'll just hang out. Oh, that's awesome. I was drinking. Okay. That is good to know. From what I've read from like Twitch guidelines, you know, as long as you've clearly indicated that like the channel is 18 plus or like it's for mature audiences only, um, then certain subject matter is more allowable. I just don't have that marked on my channel because yes, I swear, but I'm not playing any games that have like super graphic uh, murder or anything like that. And from a conversation standpoint, we keep it, you know, pretty all ages viewable so hopefully my <laughs> by my swearing alone I haven't violated twitch community guidelines I don't want to violate any community guidelines that's not the point but no one's yelled at me yet so I think I'm okay and you know if I have to mark it as mature audiences only then I'll do that at some point, you know, like if it, if it gets to a point where they're like, yo, you can't do X, Y, Z, you know, stop swearing on stream. Um, who smokes on stream? So I think, hi, Plum. How are you? Is it okay if I call you Plum? Um, as long as it's not illegal in your state. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. added some new tunes I prefer that actually okay sweet then plum it is I added some new tunes to uh, to the playlist so there's a direct link in my about section on my page if y'all want to check out the full playlist on Spotify it is a public playlist so here's the at and um, I'm gonna be kind of continuously updating and adjusting it because um, I'd like to get just a, a crap ton of music on there because I think right now it's it's upwards of six hours so like that's enough but at the same time this is you know it's gonna be a singular playlist that I work with um, every week so I don't want it to get stale plus I like discovering new music and all of this music that is on this playlist is um, is made to be Creative Commons or royalty free so that's why you can hear it and no one's coming after me for copyright issues Hooray. Iced tea break. I have put a playlist on shuffle. <laughs> I've absolutely done that. 
especially prior to um, being on like you know a, a premium Spotify <laughs> situation. Um, I would just put playlists on shuffle and be like, well, I'll get to the song I want eventually. <laughs> Oh, you are the barn. It's concrete floors and main garage. Oh, that's great. It sounds like it's going to be a really great setup for streaming, especially. This next row is going to be all yellow. So I'm going to actually um, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to weave my cream yarn in for a few stitches and then Cut it so that it's all taken care of and no longer detached. Cut a little tail. I'm going to make a free account on. Nice. I'm really happy with this playlist. I found a variety of three different um, playlists on Spotify that all have. Um, you know, the royalty free and copyright free music. So I've been pulling from a lot of those and finding songs. And as I find ones that I like, I add them on to here. Come on. With the twisting. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Huzzah! Right, so the cream is officially done, done, done for this hat. And now. I shall do the row. Of the yellow. Confuse of what you're doing. It's not, um, so I'll show you. It's, it was two separate yarns, and basically what I was doing was I was weaving them in and out in order to form this pattern. That, let me get this here. And I shall show you what it looks like up close. So I had two strands of yarn going at once because I needed to create this diamond shape and gradually add in the yellow to where the uh, cream had been. Now I'm using just the yellow, and I shall see. Hopefully you can see this. Kind of hold it up close here. Adjust the focus if I can. There we go. So as you can see, how there's these zigzag marks. Uh, the way that I do that is I knit a certain amount of stitches. Um, in one color and then I'm gradually sort of so like to start here I would do Five stitches in this orange and then I will do one in the yellow and then the next row in order to get it um, To kind of peek out like that. I'll do three and three um, And then the next one will be um, five stitches in the 
yellow and one in the orange. So I'm gradually having to work, I'm having to work with two different yarns at once in order to create these kinds of shapes. And now I'm going back and I'm doing a diamond situation. So you can kind of see it um, in the cream, but I did, I tapered the yellow in a different diagonal and then I will go back through the gradient. So after I'm done with the yellow, then I'll add the orange and then I'll add the maroon and then there's a burgundy color here and then I'll finish the hat in this uh, like charcoal grayish color. So yeah, and that's the pattern that I am eh, making up for this hat. And I'm naming this hat the diamond back because it sort of mimics a diamond back rattlesnake. I'm going to be wearing a leather apron, leather top hat. Makes sense to me, especially if you're doing a lot of leather work. Black pants and tee, good plan. I thought that's good. You should be prepared. That way, you know, after you start streaming, then it's just, you know, minor adjustments as you figure out how exactly you want your setup to be, as opposed to having to start all the way from the beginning the very first time. So that's good. So now, this row, should start integrating the orange, since we are working our way back up, going back through the darker colors to the one I originally cast on with. Hurrah! Hooray! Huzzah! I don't know. So it's one hour, three minutes. Ah, oh, nice. I hope classes went well. I hope you got some sleep last night. Mm, right? I think so. I think that's what I want it to look like. 
Yeah, okay. Thirty. Oh no, all good. Gotcha. It's like one hour, three minutes. That is a very specific time, but one hour, 30 makes more sense. It's like, dang, you're really counting. Impressive. Did I fix the link thing? No, I haven't. I need to, I need to get on that. Hi, Jenny. Um, I... It's probably going to take me, um, I'll try to fix it by tomorrow. I had other work that I needed to get done before I started today. I knit with the wrong color. I was like, yes, that's what I'm doing. Nope, it is not. <laughs> We have almost the exact same haircut. Ah, funny. Yeah, my hair has um, definitely grown uh, in quarantine. The sides were. Don't uh, let the door hit you on. The <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's starting. <laughs> I should have Nightbot put you on a timeout just for that. <laughs> I'm going to create a, <laughs> a Nightbot blacklisting all my old song lyrics. Oh my god. Oh. That, that brought me a perverse kind of joy. <laughs> oh my god. Instructions unclear. <laughs> You see what you've done. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Y'all just wait till tomorrow. Just wait. Ugh. I keep thinking, like... I keep, uh... Feeling like... I'm gonna run out of songs, you know. Like I'm like, oh gosh, like I I, I just don't know. I don't know, like because I haven't I haven't gone through and counted or anything like that. And so I keep feeling like I'm gonna run out of songs and it's gonna be over, blah blah blah, or all of this other stuff. And then I go and I look and I'm like, oh no, I'm fine. I have more than enough for like probably another year's worth of episodes. I'll be completely fine. <laughs> oh, which. Which breaks my heart a little bit, but at the same time, you know, we'll keep it going. Um, I am genuinely going to do this until I run out of bad songs. And it's not even so much that they're all, like, that bad or that terrible. It's just... <sighs> I thought I was so cool, man. I thought I was so clever. I thought I had... <sighs> And I performed some of these. It's not even just like, oh yeah, this is a song I wrote and no one ever heard it. Like, I would perform these things. 
as sometimes my first impression for people who had never heard of me or my music before. I lived a very different life. <laughs> I'm really glad I don't live that life anymore. Whew. Yes, everything. All right, cool. Google suggestion song. It really was. It is. Ugh. And some of them. It's a classic. Oof. I guess if that's what you want, if that's the word that you want to use, uh, classic is certainly a word. Target for the barn and make a drift RC track. That sounds pretty dope. You could even do that on a stream if you're looking for ideas, you know, like that's the other cool thing too, is like because of how you're streaming, a lot of your setup could be done on streams. And that way people could get an idea of what it takes to create those things, you know, to create those spaces. Oh, nice. Fine now. Yeah. Oh, you're not bugging me at all. No need to apologize. I'm happy that you're excited about your upcoming streams, upcoming projects. All very good things. And you have a plan, so that's good too. For me, I just kind of started streaming and I was like, yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so I'm still figuring out a lot of things. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with figuring things out on the fly. Sometimes it's important to plan. Other times it's important to just sort of run with it and uh, make it up as you go. Life's all about balance. Toby told me like chocolate. I'm very disappointed. Oh my. I think you need a new nephew. I'm just saying. Tell you know, whichever of your siblings gave birth to that one, that it's defective and you should send it back. See if there's like a, an updated model.
My sister is the only one listen. Okay. <laughs> I totally joke that. I mean, honestly, that's entirely your choice. I, everybody's tastes run differently. I'm just joking around. I don't think that anybody has to like chocolate. Jenny might have something else to say about the matter, but I at least, I'm like, whatever. I actually, when I was a kid, I really wasn't big into candy or sweets or chocolate or anything like that. Um, I didn't really care. And then I grew up and I was like, oh, all right, now we're talking. So our, cha our taste buds change every seven years. And actually your body sheds all of its cells every seven years and you become a literal new person every seven years. So who knows, you know, like there was stuff that I, food that I liked when I was a kid that I don't really like now. There was food that I didn't like as a kid that I do like now. So meh. It is what it is. I never take chocolate for granted ever since I got over my severe chocolate allergy. Oof. How did... Wait, you got over it? That's impressive. I wasn't aware that you could get over a chocolate allergy or something like that. That that was... That, blah, 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 that is that severe. I'm like at the end of my chapstick. There we go. I will use this chapstick until there's nothing left. It's a matter of pride. <laughs> kind of just, huh, how interesting. I mean, I'm glad that you're, you don't have to worry about it from just from an allergy standpoint, you know, w whether it was being allergic to chocolate or something else, it's nice to, at, at the very least that you don't have that hovering around that you have to be aware of. How did you even find out that it left? Dare I ask? If you want to share, you don't have to. Very curious to show you again, little brother. Huh? Eventually, I stopped getting sick. I mean, maybe that's 
the, I mean, maybe that's how your body was able to kind of process it again is because you, you know, had it little by little by little. Um, you know, and you didn't try to just like go back all at once. Your body was able to maybe like be allergic to it in tiny ways that didn't at first, you know, kill you. And then eventually was like, oh yeah, we're cool. I have no idea. I am not a biologist or an immunologist or whatever it would be who studies those sorts of things. Yeah, I can have multiple yard cams and driveway. Interesting. Just remember that cameras are expensive. And if you're going to be putting cameras outside, you're going to have to weatherproof them. And that's going to take extra time out of your setup. Like, I'm not saying don't do it, but these are just things to think about. And it's always something that you can work up to as well. This is looking so good. I'm excited about this one. Come on. Hello! Welcome back. Ooh, my brother-in-law sent me a message this morning and he tested out some stuff um, on my store and stuff is looking good. So I'm hoping that uh, the way things are progressing, I have been listening the whole time. Okay. Um, ask what music software do you recommend? Oh, uh, well, I recommend a lot of music software, but also not a lot of music software. It depends on what you're trying to accomplish. <laughs> <sighs> if you use surveillance camera. Oh, that's true. That would make a difference. Um, you see me smile? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! We're not even doing like partial lyrics. We're we're going whole hog here. We've got full choruses. Oh, oh man! I am crying on the inside right now. <laughs> Oh, sweet mother of God. Is it the only way? Does there have to be a way at all? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Lord. Uh, that's, oops, that's four. This should be an orange one. 
we're getting copyrighted at this point, right? I mean, they're gonna start, they're gonna start coming after me for copyright for my own music that doesn't even, like, oh, thankfully I have zero performances. Nowhere for you to listen to that, which is good. <sighs> Ouch. Um, but yes, yeah, so as far as music software, um, I use Pro Tools. I've used Pro Tools for, God, well over a decade at this point. Um, so that's kind of my comfort zone. Um, I really like it. I think it's great, especially for recording live instruments and live vocals. Cubase is another good software option. Um, and all of these will take adjustments, you know, to kind of getting used to the, the user interface and everything. But Cubase is pretty friendly. Ableton Live is another one that I like. It's a really nice, it's actually, so Ableton Live is interesting because it was originally designed for modern DJs who wanted to have more of that classic uh, turntable ability in their digital mixes. So it allows you to drag and drop and mix things as you go. Um, time to use a loophole and post a link, oh God. Um, so Ableton Live is another one that's really nice. And let's see, if you are making beats specifically, I recommend Fruity Loops. So like the word fruit with a Y, not like how they spell Fruit Loops. Um, but Fruity Loops is pretty much designed. Ha 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 ha. 42 messages were deleted by Nightbot. Apparently you cannot get around it and I don't know how to take you out of timeout, so you better not try again because I don't have any other mods in here. <laughs> Karma was swift and exacting. Don't get this <laughs> Oh no. What are you even trying to post? Oh God. Please don't. Oh no. I don't know if I don't, oh no. This is gonna end so badly for you. I'm just seeing all the little tiny link bits pop up. Ugh. I'm waiting for another like message where it's like, Nightbot timed out Kakashi for 14 years. I should probably learn how to take someone out of timeout because I have a feeling I'm going to need to know very soon here. Wait, stop! Oh, uh, that's what you get for trying to exploit the system. I got apple cinnamon strudel. Ooh! That sounds really good. <laughs> oh, Kakashi. Oh, no. <laughs> you are so dedicated to this. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. Highly amused. A little bit concerned, but, but also kind of impressed. Uh, YouTube! <laughs> I 
<laughs> you realize? Oh no. But see, I don't. I can't click on that. I don't know what that even links to. I will watch that video at some point, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. What does it link to? Yes, yes, I'll copy paint that. More like reconstruct and then copy paste. Ah! Fibers! Enough! That <laughs> will give you what it hit, what it links to. Oh, great. Now I'm scared. <laughs> You watch me dance it? Oh no! Well, if you wanted that, you could have just told me. Everyone, go check out my really horrible web series. It's on my YouTube channel. <laughs> it airs every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific. Ugh. I'm actually kind of amazed that I have not messed up my knitting all through this. It was all a setup for those. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I need to make a little um, direct link to the playlist that I have. That's something I need to do as well. I shall remember that. I actually started curating my YouTube channel. I've made playlists. It's all very exciting. Because I have so many videos that I've created and will have coming out this year. I was like, I need to organize. What do I think I look like? What other things I look like? I mean, we, so the interesting thing, I'll get kind of, uh, we'll, 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 we'll go here. You never actually see your own face. Ever. All that you ever see are reflections or photographs. So you have no idea what your actual face looks like to other people. Like, you can, you can get an idea, a close idea through, you know, selfies and stuff like that. But ultimately, we don't know how our own face actually looks because all we ever see it in our videos, which would be different than real life, or photos, which would be slightly different than real life, um, or reflections in the mirror, which, you know, are again, are different than looking at it directly. So it's, when I, when I learned that fact, I was like, I don't think I like this. I don't think I like my brain being in this place. <laughs> So now you all get to suffer with me. It is trippy. Threw me for a loop the first time that I read that. But it makes sense, you know. I don't want it to make sense, but it makes sense.
I just don't have a face. I mean, that's fair. Faces are overrated sometimes. I promise to do a good. Can you mod me? I want to. Hmm. I reserve the right to rescind these privileges. Eh. Make sure I'm typing the right. Sometimes I get made fun of because I pronounce things like I'm British. Oh, I'm sorry you get made fun of for that. You better behave. Better behave or I shall I shall remove them forthwith. Post haste with much expediency. I gave you these mod privileges and I can take them away! Spoken like a true parent. So the next row is going to be all orange yarn. So we're going to start with that. And I'm going to weave through this yellow, this final bit, so that it can be done here. Trim a little tail off. Eh. Or not, because I just threw my scissors onto the floor. That's fine. <laughs> Very coordinated. Okay, all tail. And then we'll wrap up this. Oh, thanks! I like that uh, little caption that goes with it, too. See, I'm <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, now you're just gonna do that every three minutes. Don't forget, 
Nightbot might uh, might not notice you, but I can still put you in timeout. <laughs> but it's good. Thanks for adding that command. I'm not sure if it's just because I've gotten used to the pattern that I, you know, I'm, I'm doing, or if it's because I, um, I don't know, but I feel like this going back is, um, the, the lyrics are more than the lyrics, <laughs> it's fair. Um, Going, I don't know, but but going back up through the gradients from the lighter colors to the darker colors. Um, I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. So, would you prefer I call you Plum or Eric? Whichever one you'd rather, I shall do. <laughs> there it is. I'm crying on the inside. <sighs> Plum. We'll stick with that then. Sounds good. But yeah, I feel like I feel like working back up through the gradient somehow is going faster than when I started it, which is probably just a combination of the fact that I'm I know what I'm doing in terms of pattern. I know what I'm doing in terms of stitch. Oh yeah, and I'm also not having to deal with any of the ribbing that I was dealing with because I switched to stocking it there. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. Or maybe it's going the exact same speed. I don't know. Just feels like it's going quicker. And I'll take it. That is one of the things that I just really like about this yarn in particular, is this yarn knits up faster than a lot of other yarns that I've used, which I really, really enjoy. Oh, that is fun. I bite you still to fight me. Oh god. <gasps> it's a cat. Hello, cat. Are you going to come sit on my lap? Nope. Just gonna walk right in front. This one, slightly darker red. Miss Erica. Huh. I think this is the yes. So we have a new one. Favorite part of this song is coming up. Oh, the one that we're listening to right now? Ah. I only 
always knit with the wrong color. Correct. Yes, this is how I want the pattern to look. This is how I want the pattern to look. Oh my gosh! Now A is pronounced. Oh, you mean like Erich? With the little. Yes, 100% the way we were listening. Nice. Erich hey. Like that. I'm here, not here. Oh, God. <laughs> aware, not aware. I just, oh, I completely, yes, gotcha. I sometimes, man, I forget about certain parts of songs until I get them. So, like, my reactions are genuine. Um... It's, it's, uh, my reactions are, are really not like, I don't write a script for my episodes. I just kind of glance over a song, decide whether or not it's the one I want to do. And then I dive in and it is, oh man. And then it ends up on YouTube. <laughs> So, like, when you see me genuinely losing my mind on that series, that is legitimately what's happening. Uh, do I have... Oh, I might. I might have... Uh, that's like the who's on first base get. It is a bit like that, yeah. Um, I might... I probably do. I'd have to see what songs... I have, but I'm, I'm sure I wrote something on September 19th. I shall do one of them. I mean, again, I'm going to do literally all of my old songs, um, especially the terrible ones. So don't you fret. But I shall look and see if I have any specifically. On the, on that date, as well. Let's see what you were thinking of my birthday, right? Ugh. There are actually that is something too. There's sometimes that I go back and I, um, I'll read them and I'm like, oh yeah, I know why I wrote this on this day. Other times I don't always remember, but. Um, but sometimes I'll look at the date and I'm like, yeah, that's what I was going through. Like the love, what do you wrote? You said, Oh, yeah, yep, absolutely. I wrote so many songs. I was in love with the same person for like four years when I was a teenager, so a lot of um, and it was completely one sided, they did not like me back at all. <laughs> so, like, I mean, now I can laugh about it, then it, it really hurt, but um. But, oh, I, I wrote, wrote a lot of love songs to that person in particular. And so sometimes I'll go back and I'll read through things and I'm like, one might say you were aware or not aware. You could absolutely say that. Mostly the not aware part. best ones though honestly are um <laughs> uh, 
oh, just some some of the oh this is something that i have yet to actually say but okay so for those of you who have at least seen a few of the episodes you know in a couple of them where i say things like you can bet your fancy new ferrari or um my life's a living hello which <laughs> i can't i'll never get over but specifically that you can bet your fancy new ferrari that line i realized why i said that line and it's because <laughs> it's because i didn't swear so instead of saying you can bet your ass or something like that i was like i'll be clever and say you can bet your fancy new ferrari instead <laughs> and so that's why i have that line in that one song <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and I realized like I've been meaning to like post about it. And specifically because I think there's another song where that happens where you know like I try to whoo, and it's because of that and I just oh my god. Bold of you to so I can try. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, some of the just some of the things that went through my brain, man. You. Uh, I was a trip. Oh. Despite who I was as a teenager, I think I've turned out well. <laughs> Awake, asleep. Oh God, I'm strong. I'm weak. Uh, to the situation, yes, 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 indubitably. Fazlets. This part is the most fun. Oh, I love it. I, I I love seeing you work them into the conversation. It's great. They're honestly better at that than I would have been. <laughs> five and then okay cool just making sure i'm counting stitches correctly i know you have added quite a lot of people but can i have mod powers i am um not quite yet so the people that I have given mod powers are people that I've known either in person, in, you know, like in real life outside of Twitch or have known on other social media um, for a while. So I don't really just give out mod powers to just anybody. I've tried hundreds of days in the art of a troll. Oh, God. Well, you are my son, so it makes sense. I actually I nearly got myself in trouble with that on TikTok because my first response sometimes is to just be very sarcastic and to troll people. And then I realize I'm like, wait, there are like really young kids 
on this app and maybe I should calm down a little bit because like, you know, it's one thing if, if someone genuinely deserves to be trolled, but it's another thing if I'm just responding out of my desire to be sarcastic and a horrible person and then I'm like, oh wait, you're like eight years old. Never mind. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> so I, I eased up a little bit. I like this song. I added in a bunch of new stuff today. I will play the I'm strong. I know you are. And you're always ready to fight. <laughs> Which I appreciate the attitude and the energy. I don't know if fighting eight year olds is the, the best um, placement of that attitude and energy though. Maybe. Depending on the eight-year-old, I guess. Two, four. That's a live week. Oh! You got me. Oh, you got me. Well done. Okay, the song is almost over. Oh, are you watching them right now? To get or wait. I'm confused. Or you're just going through the songs. That's right, that's right, that's right. You're in the bridge right now. Never mind. I got you. I know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Please don't ever let me tell you that I know what's happening. If I tell you that I know what's happening, I've most likely been, like, body snatched. <laughs> it's not actually me. So that's, that's how you tell. Yeah, I know. You typed it earlier. But this is me we're talking about here. You actually expect me to remember things that have happened in my own life? Ha ha ha! Adorable. I haven't known pretty much anything since March of last year, and it's March again. <sighs> God, it's March again. Can you permission to eat my cat? Um, I mean, I... You have the ability to. I don't know that it would end well for you, though. But I, technically, this is a free country, I guess. If you send me $200, yes. Well, I mean... I figured you were joking. For me, it's just too much work. There's no way I would ever eat Jasper. I'd have to, like, go through and remove all of his fur, and his fur already gets everywhere, so you just know. It would be bad. Like, his fur already ends up in my mouth and my face with him being alive. It would just be so much worse if I was actually, like, preparing to eat him for some reason. Plus, he'd come back to haunt me, and I 
I'm not really, I, I, I can't, I can't have that. I just said that I looked, <laughs> ran off. I mean, cats are smart. They sense things. He is, uh, he's 99% an inside cat, but he does like going outside and he was briefly an indoor outdoor cat when I lived in this house uh, about four, three and a half, four years ago. Um, we lived in a house with some folks and their cats were indoor outdoor cats. Um, so... Oh no, an inside or an outside cat. I did it again. <laughs> Crap, damn you. It's the inside and outside. It was too smooth. I didn't even know. Fuck. Jasper's literally, look at this. Look at him. He's just like, Dad, what is happening with you? <laughs> oh. Yeah, hi. He's just staring at me like, how do you, how do you do this? Do you want to come sit with me? I'm a, you want to <laughs> I found to be switch beds. Ah, I got you. Jasper, you want to come sit? You want to come sit? I was like, no, I don't want to sit with you. Are you kidding me? Fine. Eh. I'll just move this back to my face then. My face. Not your face. My face. You wanna come sit? Come here. Come here. Why? He's just staring at me. Why are you staring at me? Do you want to sit with me or not? Sir. Do you want to come sit? He's snoring. Aww. Cats snoring is one of the cutest sounds. Do you want to sit with me or what? Our face. Evil laugh. Uh, come here. Yeah. yeah of course. Uh-huh. Yes. All right. Eh. Cat cam. Yes, my love. <laughs> nice to be this boy. No, you don't, don't look at the yarn like that, please, sir. He's like, Dad, what you doing? What's, uh, what's this? Cabbage does not call it cat cam, if you know what I mean. I'm back. Woohoo! Welcome back. The 
No, 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 oh, crap. <laughs> Jasper, come here. Okay. <laughs> she started attacking the yard, and then when I started yelling no at him, he ran off, but the yard was wrapped around his foot, so he nearly took the yarn with him. Okay, we're good. Oh, whew. We're good, we're good. He did say mine. I made the mistake of making him his own little tiny ball of yarn um, out of just this wool that I have. And uh, that, that got him into it. The gateway, the gateway yarn. Oh, yo, yo. Ooh, a new Nerf gun, how exciting. We were not allowed to own Nerf guns when I was a child. My cat's watching with me, isn't that right? Ah. Hello, other cat. My cat is now sitting and sulking in the dining room with his back to me because I yelled at him. Baby, you can come back. I just need you to, I don't know, maybe not attack the, my knitting? <laughs> He's deaf. Aww. I shall wave then. Oh my gosh. That's pretty intense. I'm glad, I hope that he's doing well otherwise, you know. Tell Jasper living and dying are part of life. Oh no. <laughs> Jasper is laughing and crying now. He's crying! In parentheses with an exclamation point. Spoiler warnings. <laughs> yes, God forbid anybody spoil the episode that I put up how many weeks ago?
he's happy. I'm his favorite. Aw, that's awesome. It's pretty cool. You have a cat you can actually even give belly rubs. Jasper's not really that kind of cat. <clears throat> He's a little feisty. He's going to be 10 in a couple of months, though, so. He's, uh. He's a grumpy old man. The orange, yes. Two weeks to ten tomorrow makes two weeks. Duly noted. Thank you so much, my timekeeping son. do one orange stitch now because then the next one is going to be all of this darker red two of us are slightly happy when the people around there are mad interesting Jasper's pupils are round a lot but that's just because he has a catnip rainbow that he plays with constantly so he's um yeah <laughs> he, he likes his drugs and then his pupils get big. He is so funny on catnip. Oh my God. He never used to like catnip. He was never really a big catnip cat. Um, my other cat that I used to have, Quiz, who died a few years ago, he loved catnip. He was obsessed with it. And Jasper was just like, eh, whatever. Um, because I could barely see the, huh. Um, ouch, pardon my very crackly self. Yeah, Quiz was obsessed with catnip and Jasper was always just sort of like, sometimes he'd, he'd check it out. He'd get sort of interested. You know, he, he like treats with catnip in them, but he didn't go ham like Quiz would. And then my friend, one of my friends got me this catnip rainbow um, for him and he has just become an absolute addict with it. And I can always tell what kind of day it's going to be because some days I wake up in the morning and I just hear the sound of the catnip rainbow just like around the living room and I'm like, Waking, uh, waking up and going right to the hard drugs, huh? All right, all right. It's gonna be that kind of day. Having a cry will be a part of your life if I keep this up. <laughs> Bold of you to assume they're not already most of my life.
I really, really like how this dark red and the orange look next to each other. And I kind of want to do a hat with the two of them together. Like in some other pattern. Hmm. Miss his buddy boo boo. Oh. That's always hard. I know that Jasper still misses Quiz. Um, he, uh, Quiz was two when I got Jasper, and Jasper was five months old. So Jasper pretty much grew up with Quiz. And then about four years ago, Quiz passed unexpectedly, and that nearly lost me Jasper as well because he went through such a hard time with just grief and not understanding. So it's always tough. It's tough on us, obviously, you know, because we love our animals. Um, it's tough on the animals, too. Now he's, you know, sometimes I can tell he's still sad. Um, because he's holding my hand right now. Oh, I love it when they do that. It's the cutest. Sometimes Jasper will nap and he'll want to like hold on to my arm and I'm just like You're so adorable place and can have a pet it does make a difference <laughs> having a pet is a lot of responsibility son <laughs> do I need to give you that talk before uh, you know I'm crying <laughs> There it is. Oh, there it is. Ugh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, as I was about to say. Um, I... <sighs> before everything happened in the world, you know, last year um i was originally going to get a dog last summer because i was like yeah my life is starting to kind of settle into a routine i can now be fair to a dog and actually give a dog a good life and you know then of course <laughs> there's a pandemic so i was like okay guess i'll get a dog some other time <laughs> So do you think those two dogs and four cats? That sounds like a wonderful life. I am, I'm into that. It's, it's a good life right there. Lives in her childhood home. Oh, snap!
that's where the barn is. Oh, we had a class it as a mansion. Dang. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So much crying on the inside. All of the tears. All of them. But you can't see because they're on the inside. All the crying. So exciting. This is knitting up way faster than I expected it to. Specifically because of the color work that I'm doing. Sometimes you just need to hear the truth. Yes. But let me guess. You think truth is a lie and the lie is reality. And the truth is, yeah, you want the truth. Oh no. <sighs> Why did I write these things? Why did I decide that I should put these things on the internet? <laughs> well, I am, I am dead on the inside at this point. I wrote that when I was like 16. <laughs> My dying is finished. I'm fully deceased on the inside. I need to update the song. Evidently. Roll end credits. Whew. I hope y'all enjoy my passive aggressive credits. <laughs> Food the basement. It's a four-story house. Wow. It's pretty big. Now I understand why you say it's barely classified as a mansion. the orange is finished got myself a little tail there let me get some food okay Ugh. chunky boy chunky cats I do love a good chunky cat it's a big old kittens is done which means after this row we shall start integrating this kind of burgundy color cool 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 I'll be right back okay in that case I'm also going to be right back because I have to use the bathroom anyway so I might as well
Hello, Jenny. Welcome back. Yeah, this is sort of a new picture. It's actually the picture that I was using originally. So I have two different setups when I stream. Um, I have obviously my my, my crafting uh, setup. And then I've got my gaming setup and my crafting setup. Um, I do obviously I'm in my living room, so I'm not going to lug my PC, my, my f full PC all the way out to the living room. Um, and when I'm gaming, I'm in my studio. So the, the scenes are slightly different for the pictures. What I have my little screensaver slash intermission photo depending on what you want to call it. does look like a little diamond. Oh my god! I'll show you. Here. Hey. Let me see if I can get it to focus on the up-closeness. There it is. Cool. So look at that! It looks like a little diamond! Hee <laughs> hee. So I've got the, the cream is completely done, the yellow and the orange, and I'm doing the last row of this red before I start adding in the darker red. And then after I do the darker red, I will add the uh, charcoal in that I started with, and that's the color that will finish the hat in. So, I mean, there's still, this is probably going to still take me a while. Um, But it's, it's getting there. You know, there will still be a while to knit in the original charcoal color. But... That won't take very long because I won't be having to swap back and forth between other colors. Every so often. Welcome back.
then we start adding in this darker, the darker red. I will be selling this one. Yes, this is going to have. So once I get this, probably by the end of this stream, um, I will set this. Um, so I'm going to work on this through the end of this stream. And then next week in my crafting, because tomorrow I'm streaming again, but it'll be video games. Um, reserve it for me. I shall. Um, and then on my next crafting stream, um, I will just get it. <laughs> okay. Um, on my next crafting stream, I'll start working on the patch for it. Cause the patch usually takes me about 15 hours to make. So that'll be, you know, three streams and then, um, in the stream after I finish the patch, then I'll attach it. I'll finish up the hat and attach it that way, which is what I did with the last hat that I did stream and fall. So if you are, all right, okay. I was joking if you do reserve it for me. Oh, <clears throat> I have a few different hats that I um, have reserved for people. So what I do is I password protect that page in the store. Um, and then I would just give you the password so that when the store goes up, other people can see it. And if they like it, they can, you know, ask me to make one for them, but the first one would be reserved for you and I would give you the password. So if you wanted to, there's no pressure to, um, there's no pressure to commit, but if you, you know, were absolutely certain that like, yeah, this is the one that you want, then what I do is I protect the page so that only you could order it. I've done that for a couple other folks. Obviously the store is not done yet, but I have like those hats ready and waiting and I've done that on the hats that I have ready for other people. Awesome, I will. Okay, cool. Cause like for some of the hats, I'm just doing um, one-off designs basically. So like I do one of each design and then if I have more of the yarn, then I can usually make another one. And that way I'll have like a contact form on each of like the individual product pages. Um, Cause I don't want to make, you know, like, I don't want to get super excited about a design and be like, I'm going to make 18 of these. And then, you know, they're not that pop, like that design isn't that exciting to other people or whatever. So uh, right now I'm just doing one of each and then people can sort of back order them depending on the price. It's going to be $40 plus shipping and shipping is just a flat rate $5. So that's how much I'm charging from the hats. Two, four, five. All right, like 45%. Yeah. Yep. That's about as, as reasonable for something that's handmade. It's about as reasonably priced as I can make it. But I understand too, you know, like money is totally a thing. Um, 
so don't feel bad if you know yeah okay I don't know what I was going to say. Yeah. It's one of those, you know, like trying to strike balance situations. Um, because I'd love to be able to just, you know, sell these for like 20 bucks each and, and, and call it a day. But the thing with, which, you know, I'm sure you already know because you make things by hand. You know how much work goes into stuff. Um plus the cost of materials, especially if you're buying nicer materials. Um, so, yep. I am unfortunately not Walmart and therefore cannot have lower prices. But I do want to make them as accessible as possible, you know. So it's about, about as low as I could go. Although, I am giving Patreon supporters, um, I am buying nice materials, so like these are all 100% natural wool blends, um, and um, I don't think that any of my, yeah, none of the hats I'm going to be selling will be, which you can find nice acrylic yarns, but all of the hats that I will be making what if we buy Walmart? Yeah, sure. You go right ahead. Um, all the hats that I'm selling in my store and that I'm making are made out of 100% natural fibers. You know, or like nice fiber blends um, as opposed to acrylic yarn. Just because I like th the feeling is better. Um, oh, yes. So Patreon uh, folks do get a $10 discount. And all you have to do is sign up for a dollar a month. So there's that too. And then you automatically will get, um, get 100% of all yarn and knitting needs. But the thing is that Walmart doesn't sell nice yarn. I've looked there before. All of Walmart's yarn are, are undesirable to me. Because now I'm an elitist. And I care about things like sustainability. <laughs> uh, I'll change that when I buy it. Okay, okay. That's good. Then I then 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 we can talk. You'd be like, welcome to Walmart. This is the section where we have all of our sheep <laughs> that are shorn every so often to create this selection of natural yarns that you will find in aisle seven. <laughs> Actually, that'd be pretty amazing. I would love a shop like that. Don't say it too loud. Okay, sorry. It's alright, we're still we're still in the planning stages. It's okay. Don't wanna count our chickens before they're hatched. <laughs> Which will be at aisle twelve. Making sure that my pattern is actually patterning. And it is. All right. With every row. Eggs so fresh, they are still warm. Ah, oh, man, fresh eggs. There's nothing quite like it. I was gonna say, with every row, I just get more and more excited. 
hacer I'm nearing a point at which I will only be using one yarn at a time and that makes my hair my my heart my heart I don't know why I said it like that I'm Scandinavian now that makes my heart so happy <laughs> all right courtesy of my brain I was based out, so I don't know. I also don't know what I missed. And I was there. So don't you worry about it. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Move along. a new color. Yes. Ah, crap. Wait. Oh, wait, no, I'm, I was right. Okay. <sighs> I thought I'd done something wrong, but I hadn't. Hooray! Update, don't order food. That is correct. Yep. Yeah. I like this song. I like this one too. As I've been pulling the songs from like other playlists to put them on here, I just sort of listen to the intro and then I'm like, yeah, and then I don't listen to the full thing so that it's a new experience for me whilst I am crafting. I actually get to hear the full thing for the full the blah, 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 blah. the full thing for the first time. Keeps it fresh. And that's another reason why I just want to add like hundreds of hundreds of songs to this playlist eventually because that way it's never quite the same thing and um i don't have to have like you know i'm back via kakashi have some oh no <laughs> oh lord <laughs> do i want to know <laughs> Oh, do I want to know? Eh. Okay. 
No. Yes. I fixed it. Okay, fine. Like, I don't know if you'd agree. I mean... I don't want to raid on anybody's parade. Or anything. Ugh. Also, me saying no just now was me saying no at the yarn. Just to, to clarify. I was speaking to my knitting. Rob's hands together like an evil genius. You would. You're corrupting young people in my streams. You were the chosen one. I gave you mod powers. And now you're corrupting younglings! <laughs> oh, God. Me and Kashi are going to win over Walmart with $10. I like it. I think this is an excellent plan. I absolutely agree with this. I support this plan 10 billion dollars hard to turn down ten dollars, right? I I mean I don't see how they could say no, honestly. I think it's foolproof. <laughs> it's over everyone, you have the high ground. High ground Oh my sibling and I quote that to each other constantly. <laughs> Literally just send each other messages and just be like, high ground! <laughs> I don't know any, I mean, if they turn down your offer of $10, then they are a foolish, foolish company. And they don't deserve to be in business anymore. So, the ball is in their court. We will see. We will see. Um, what should I, what I should, wait, 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 wait. What I should, do you want me to call? As in like, call Walmart? You'd have to figure out the correct number, right? Cause like calling a store, I think the stores are I have the thigh ground. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Um, as far as calling Walmart, I think you'd have to figure out which number exactly to call because if you just call a store, they don't actually have any leveraging power, you know? Um, you'd have to, yeah, you'd have to call corporate and then see if they'll even let you speak. Plus, is Walmart a private company or is it a publicly traded company because with ten dollars you could actually buy some shares and then you know 
Depending. I mean, I maybe one share. <laughs> or the shard in Walmart. I don't think that they have enough weight um, to sell you the entire company just by calling one store. I don't, unfortunately, think that that is how it works. At least not these days. To <laughs> show up to the shareholders meeting. Hello! I have invested $10 in this company. You need to listen to what I have to say. We need sheep in aisle 3 and chickens in aisle 12. Hear me out. Foolproof. Foolproof, I tell you. Oh yes, dogs are greeters, 100%. And if whoever's coming into the store doesn't like dogs, then they're just not allowed to shop there. <laughs> Those are the rules. It's actually how we gauge uh, who our clientele is gonna be. Because if their reaction isn't like, oh, puppy, or something like that, then they're just not allowed. They're not allowed in. No. Works both as a greeter system and a barometer for the kind of people we want to let frequent our establishment. Can't just have anybody shopping at Walmart. What? What kind of business do you think we're running here? Or I'll just buy a chair in their building and sit there. Drug dealing out. Oh, Lord. That's sure to go over well. Although pizza rolls are pretty great. Man, now I want pizza rolls. <laughs> Walmart is bougie. <laughs> yes, it is. There are some bougie Walmarts. Like, bougie for a Walmart, I guess I should say. Food is out the oven. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Hold up, do you mean to tell me that you made food and you ordered food? Is that what is happening here? No! Or are you having a delivery of other things? I will sell my Hot Wheels for minus <laughs> the fastest. All right, all right. Solid plan, solid plan. Tracking my food and it, oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. I thought for some reason that you had made food and I was like, I mean, I wouldn't put it past you necessarily, but I wasn't sure. Dominoes, I assume. <laughs> Based on just what you've said, literally just what you've said. <laughs> That's why I was like, I'm not gonna, you know, really guess either way. And yes, Domino's. Yeah, because they always tell you when it's out of the oven. Is it getting the <clears throat> is it getting the quality check right now? I forgot to sweeten the cold brew um, before I made it, and now I'm like just drinking 
unsweetened tea, which is fine. It's not a black tea. It doesn't taste bad or anything, but. What's happening here? Aha, that's what's happening here. I see, I see. So now I have to make simple syrup at some point, which is fine, I don't mind. I just have to actually remember a nice cup of tea. Mmm. I do love a good cup of tea. I am almost done with the red color and almost finished integrating. Then I'll go to my store and say I'll buy the store for negative 27. It's very, that is, you know what? That's even harder to pass on than a $10 offer. I like where your head's at. It's very good. Make it negative 30 and I think it will work better. It's possible. It's possible. You could always use that as like a, a last resort. Be like, you know, when they de if, if they decline the first offer, then you could be like, all right, fine. I'll make it negative 30. Because then you know you're willing to give them that much, but you don't want to, you know. You don't want to give it all away too soon. Take a lot more Hot Wheels. Yeah. I'm so excited for this hat. I come up with a crap plan. Oh yeah, it's, hey, it's not a crap plan. It's genius. There's no way this will fail, none. We just have to find the right time to implement this plan. Probably as the economy, you know, continues to dive because the government won't actually support the working class. But <laughs> that's a conversation for another time, I guess. I love how offering to $30 is like saying I'm in debt 30 but also help me. I want to own your whole company, pretty much. And isn't honesty the point of it all anyway? Don't people find honesty in business deals refreshing? Then they know you're on the level. Actually, I'm going to call them. Oh, God. I wish you luck. Thank you very much. Right there. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Go 
to watch. It'll be fun. I don't know, like a month. Okay. Yeah, you know, give give yourself some time to get the Hot Wheels um, situation handled. So a month seems like a, a good idea. The Hot Market. Ah, yes. An excellent name. is the only name. It's very true. No other name would be acceptable. with the wrong color but I didn't so now I have to fix my yarns fix your shit oh, come on Next. <laughs> At least for the next four seconds. <laughs> but I'm always done with this round, and then I'll be doing just the the darker burgundy. I shall tie off the red, and then <laughs> Come see these beautiful models. I mean, model cars. <laughs> the weight is killing me. You can do it! They are checking it for quality assurance. Speaking of the devil, it's here. See? Told you. I knew it. Hold up. That's what I want? Yes, that's what I want. Okay. You're back. Okay. get bad by a bot. Uh oh. <laughs>
thou hast angered the bot. Gee, it's the last of the regular color red, so now it's just the dark red for a row. So exciting! Because then, in a little bit, it'll be just the charcoal. Hooray, hooray, hooray! About now you deserve a solid dictionary search for a word. Learn to pronounce. Huh? I'm not sure why you're posting that in here, but okay. be like trying to explain ah spinny spinnies Still have to secure it eventually. Here is a purpose. Oh yeah, absolutely. Student or pupil. Um. Totally. Yeah, you have the pupil. It's the pupil of the eye, but then you also have a, a pupil, which is, you know, a, a student or someone who learns. It's the same root word that, um, of like, um, um, a pupae, like what caterpillars come out of. It's that same, same root word. I have never. Huh. Yeah, I, I don't know that it's quite as common of a use today by a lot of people, but, um, school child yeah. that's what I am there you go
Student school, child school, boy school, girl scholar, disciple, follower, learner, protege, apprentice, trainee, all described. It is that is true. <laughs> Apparently, indeed. Back eating and vibing. Nice. That's the best. Talents of Virgil's incredible, amazing show. Something you've never seen, you're totally unique, completely, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put in blender. Shit on it, pop it on your cover. Oh my god, Jenny. <laughs> I no longer, I don't know what's happening. Oh my god. That's what's gaga. Plum, you are amazing. Ah, <sighs> indeed. She let puss again, puss, puss, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh my lord. Ah, we're coming up on the last color change. This is so exciting. I'm stoked. Yes, very comfy hat. I'll show you in a second. Let me just, I'll bring it up close here so y'all can see. Interesting. This is the hat. Cool. 
Why though? Why what? Oh wait, let me hold it up closer so you can see. Hopefully you can see the detail. Yes, that's why. <laughs> So here's how it's shaping up. I'm really happy that I actually uh, got myself the diamond in the middle. Because I kind of want it to be basically like this. It would mimic, um, I wanted it to mimic the back of a, a little snake. Copied and pasted the definition names for dogs. Yes, I noticed that. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that. And I was like, "Yeah, I'll let it. I'll let it slide in this context. That's okay." God, these two colors are similar enough to each other that I actually have to pay attention now. Ugh, gross. Yes, okay. Kya! No. No tanglies. No tanglies. No. Better.
four. Consume, devour, just partake of gobble. Oh my goodness. Opposite, starve, fast, some food. <laughs> Knitting this time, doing right, okay. Because pizza, aha. I was thinking about making pizza for dinner tonight, and then I realized I don't have the ingredients to do it. So, I could start the dough proving. It was only mailed to you. Thank you, that is very kind. I was thinking about it, if I can, I can get the dough proving and then I can run to the grocery store while the dough is proving. And then I, um, can just buy just a few things and then I'll do like my full full grocery shopping tomorrow or later this week yes yes could do that indeed could do what is it three okay hello how are you thank you for the follow Don't mind me, just fighting with yarn, it's cool. No big deal. <laughs> ah, two. Georgia's, or we call it nice. What kind of pizza? Me or anyone who's having pizza? Because I think Plum said they're also having pizza. So, all the pizza talk. Nom, 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 nom. Pepperoni pizza was supposed to be buffalo chicken, but they sent me chicken with cheese on it, which I'm not mad at. <laughs> cheese bread and lava cake. Heck yeah. That sounds amazing. That's quite the spread right there. Well done. Be 
please call me plum. Yes, I did. I could have even, I think I did. I said, I'm pretty sure I said plum said they are also having pizza. I could have eaten all of it, but I'm the adult in the house currently and I share it with my younger brother. That's very good of you. Yes, two, five, uh huh, yeah, cool. I'm glad I do my best to create um, hot markets pizza gets your mouth burning hot. Oh my gosh. Do my best to create a good vibe space. So I am glad that it is enjoyable for others as well as myself. Yes, quit asking for sandwiches. I definitely prefer, you know, not being asked for sandwiches all the time. Oh, 
Not that that's really a problem for me, but for some people, it might be. You never know. How's it going, man? if I ask for like 49 oh good grief I don't even have the ability to make you 49 sandwiches so you are extremely out of luck there so I'm gonna have, to have okay have a good night thank you for being here I'm glad that you eventually got your food even though you had to wait forever I shall see you tomorrow for the episode in the morning for the group chat. By the way, if anybody wants to hang out every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time for a group chat over on my fan YouTube, aha, I have a, oof, a web series that comes out every Wednesday and each new episode premieres in real time. So there's a group chat and we always have a good time. What? I have a, a web series on YouTube and on Wednesday like it's not like video call it's more like a chat session so we're all kind of in a the episode basically shows up on the left and then on the right there's a little area kind of similar layout to how uh, twitch is if you're on like a, a desktop um, yeah 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 so and then we all watch the episode together and laugh at my pain. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. These colors are so similar. I was on earlier. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. That's true. There's been a lot of talk of my YouTube in this particular stream. It goes live midnight. Midnight. It should be. It's 10 a.m. So it should be noon for you if it's two hours ahead or 12 p.m. No, 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 it's all good. Time is a is a, a weird it's a weird concept. You're not dumb. Um yeah, 12 p.m. versus 12 a.m., it's a whole thing. I used to struggle with it. Um, so, don't, do not feel dumb, my friend. Uh, yes, then this one. Right? Okay, cool. Th these two colors are so similar. Okay, we're okay. Everybody is okay. Or at least the whatever's happening with my knitting is okay. I don't know about everybody. I'm the only one here. I think, yep, I was gonna say, I think there was a couple other people at one point. Folks come in and out. It happens. Mm -hmm. 
do, 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 do. There we go. Hurrah. Is that right? Yes. Why? I just fixed this.
Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> I was in a different time. Ah, I gotcha. I can see how that would be very startling. There's nice music, and then all of a sudden, just ah! <laughs> noises in a moment because after this round I will be back to just using one color and then it will be the final color that this hat will be knit in so it will become the decidedly less complex because the color work section will be over This is your midstream reminder to drink some water. Because hydration is important.
Back. Okay, okay. So I thought you were holding a baby by its head. It, uh, you know. <laughs> Not gonna do that. But that is funny. stitches we now come to the end of all of the color work which means that from here on out it will be just knitting in this charcoal color that I originally cast on it so yay 
Very exciting. Just going to secure this. tail there I don't like to tie knots because knots can not only you know feel uncomfortable but also they can come undone over time whereas uh, if you uh, weave the yarn through a bunch of stitches it sort of locks it in place a lot better color work. I like color work. It's really fun to do and I really like seeing how the patterns shape up over time but it does get complicated. So it's nice to finish up with some non-color work. And I won't finish this hat today um, but I made some solid progress. And now I can just knit without even thinking about what my hands are doing which is wonderful. It's just instantly faster. I mean, maybe I'll finish the hat. I doubt I will, but... Actually, let me get a measuring tape so that I can see about how long... Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's still fussy about the links. If you want to, um, if there's like stuff that you're trying to like, basically like if, if you're trying to send me anything, um, you can always shoot a, um, oops, eh, 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 eh. there we go. You can always DM me on Instagram um, if you have like a link that you, like if it's like a video or something that you wanted me to watch or 
whatnot. You can always shoot me a message on Instagram and I'll check it out there. If you have an Instagram. I'm on my school Chromebook right now. Though. Oh no, that's totally fine. That's what I was just saying, if you wanted to. There's no obligation to or no pressure to. Um. Give me just a second. I'm going to grab a measuring tape so I can see how far along this hat is. I should be right back. Let us see here. Oh, hello, kitchen. Oh, now, now you want to hang out? Now that I need to measure things? <laughs> of course. Of course. Hi. <laughs> Do you want snuggles? Hi, baby. Yeah. You want to cuddle for a little bit? Okay. Yeah. You needed some little, you needed your chin scratches. Okay. Oh, yeah? All right, are we, are we done with the petting? You just want to lay down? Duly noted. I got to measure a hat, though, now. With you on my lap. Should be interesting. Eh. <laughs> You're not making this remotely easy on me, cat. Hang on, I'm just gonna set it there and I'll measure it over here off to the side. That's fine. Eh. Okay, so it's about a little under six inches right now. And usually I will knit until the main part of the hat is about seven and a half to eight, sometimes a little longer. For a beanie, about Eight, eight and a half is good. So we shall knit for a while more. It's a good thing too, since I have the cat on my lap and cannot go anywhere.
I just called a website a plea. <laughs> oh, I've, I've, I've done that. I, I mean, I don't, yeah. Not that exact thing, but something in that spirit. So I don't know if I'm the one to help you. Not on purpose either. It happens. Hello, little cat. Hi. Oh, you're totally fine. I'm glad you're getting some food. Food is very important. So just kind of quiet because I'm in the knitting zone. Chloe Thal Gucci. I understand that I have definitely definitely understand that and in fact that's probably one of the reasons why I make sure because I know what it's like um, it's one of the reasons why I always make sure to let you know you don't have anything to be sorry for.
How's it is kind of thing that calms me down? That's good. I'm very glad. That's one of the reasons why I like, I like to have this sort of mix of, you know, a couple times a week I craft and then um, I do video games in my other streams because I, I like the balance, you know. Sometimes it's kind of nice, especially right at the beginning of the week, it's nice to sort of have something that's a little bit more relaxing and just crafting, you know, not, not screaming at video games but just getting able to chat and uh, just make stuff. This definitely helps keep me calm and sort of focuses my brain without being super stressful. Too fun it's like streaming listening to me everything like, ah I'm glad you're having a good time I am too and I got a cat on my lap so it's all the crafts and cats and a good time was had by all being used like a pillow. That's so cute. Sometimes Jasper will curl up around my head, but he doesn't really let me use him like a pillow too often. Oh, warm pillow. That's you know what? A snuggly pillow like that is the best kind of pillow. <laughs> the fluffy pillows. Yes. Best warm fluffy pillow. It does breathe, that is true. are in parking spot at my grandparents. Wait, what? Say what now? I'm not sure I'm down for that last part. The, you know, the, the snuggly part, the warm, fluffy pillow part, the breathing part, that's all fine. But I don't, I don't, I don't know about the pooping in the parking spot bit. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a pillow should do that. <laughs>
used to figure this by turning on the press button. Ah, gotcha. Turn the music up very slightly, sure. I mean, it's fading right now, but I'll bring it up just a little bit. So hopefully the next song will be better balance. Let me know if that's better. Sure thing. I'm always happy to adjust sound levels. Good, I'm glad it's better. <laughs> the milk. It's good. Cheers with milk. Let's see what happens. I have to shift just a little bit. Ah. Okay, the cat's still here. Oh, he yawns. He's a sleepy boy, huh? Oh. He's very sleepy. Which I don't understand because all you have been doing all day is sleeping. How are you still so sleepy after you've been sleeping all day? The amount that cats sleep every day is... <sighs> I wish I could sleep that much. It'd be so nice. Oh, there he goes yawning again. And he stretches. That a flipping a coin from the cat. That is true. They're still head and tails. Oh man, you might uh, <laughs> you might get clawed in the face though. It's a little bit more of a risk involvement when you flip a cat versus flipping a coin. Possibly worth it though. balances on their nose. Yay!
Good times, good times. Cat does the dog thing with they see you looking at them and they want belly rubs. He rolls over. Aww, that's really cute. Jasper will sometimes let me give him belly rubs. Other times, definitely not. <laughs> he has weird skin flaps behind his ears. Huh. I should believe Vegas can hear this tone of music. It's highly possible. You know, it can possibly, if not um, outright hear it in some way, maybe he feels it, you know, the, how, um, in the same way that like we often feel like low frequencies resonating in our chest. It's possible that he can feel that too. He's really calm. Aww. Just vibing. Jasper's fully asleep on my lap. So he is also very calm.
Oh, laying on his cheek. That's so cute. I love it when cats do that. My favorite is when Jasper will be so asleep that like his mouth hangs open a little bit and he's just like, ah. Oh, cracks me up. I just I had army pants or sweatpants. Oh, that absolutely would make you uncomfortable. So I've been streaming um, Hollow Knight, and that's kind of been my main focus for the last few weeks, but I also play Breath of the Wild, so uh, a few different Zelda games, and um, I will sometimes do like... You know, if I want like a little bit of a calmer stream, then maybe I'll play Animal Crossing for a little bit. Um, and um, let's see what else. I have the Untitled Goose game that um, I did a stream with that. And then I have some Assassin's Creed games. I've also got Link's Awakening, so another Zelda game, and then um, a few sort of like, I don't want to say smaller developers, but a few indie developers, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, so games like Transistor, Bastion, which I believe are the same people who made the game Hades, uh, which Hades I haven't played yet, but I want to. And then I just have some other like... Believe it or not, I've never played anything you said. Oof. Ah! Sorry, I'm trying to like, every now and again, I'm trying to shift without bothering the cat. Yeah, hey, are you napping, kitten? He's a little nappy baby. Oh, he is. He's a little napping boy. Yes. Oof. Yeah, so this is as far as, um, this is my first time ever playing Hollow Knight, so I've never played it before the streams that I've done with it. 
I did beat Breath of the Wild once, so the playthrough that I'm doing for this one is my second playthrough. Um, and this time I'm going to try to like complete all of the side quests and everything as well as the main stuff, <laughs> the new chill pills. Um, and then, let's see. None of the other... Oh, I've, I have beaten Link's Awakening, so the other Zelda game. Um, but only once. So when I start playing that again, it'll be my second time through. Hi! <laughs> yeah, did you have an itch? Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna grab a charger. Okie dokie. Hi, kitten. Fibers. Yarn fibers, why do you do this to me? Welcome back. So probably in about 25 minutes-ish, um, that's going to be my five-hour mark. And that's usually how long I stream. Sometimes I'll go for six hours, but today I will need to um, stick as close to five hours as possible just because i got to get a lot of stuff um, taken care of yet tonight. So that's according to my computer. I've been live for about four and a half hours. So, my cat freaked out because the charger fell off the bed and he was ready to browse. <sighs> ah, cats.
to remember to touch the idea of store my dad in an online skate shop. Oh, that's so cool. I've always wished that I could skateboard. I'm sure it's still something that I could learn, but I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old and too tired to learn new athletic skills. <laughs> I'll show you an image, but you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you could, um, you could send it to me, uh, in my Instagram. So that would work. It is always an option. Sorta. Of. Okay. Quickly measure. Yes, to see. Because before when I measured it was about at six inches. So I just kind of want to check and see where we're at. Okay, so I've done about an inch's worth of work. It's about seven inches now. So that's good. And then um, once it gets to about the eight inch mark, then I will do the, I'll start, oh, um, doing the decreasing rows, which won't be this stream. Um, whew, I don't know why I'm yawning, but there we are. Uh, do, 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 do. Or if you wanted to really quickly search gutter sled skateboards and images. Okay, let me do that real quick. See how quickly I can type. <laughs> yes, I found your Facebook. Oh, come on, phone. For some reason, it's not letting me pull it up on Facebook. Weird. Okay. I will um I will search for it again on my um I have one phone that I use just for social media and then the other phone that I use is like my everyday regular phone and it's not pulling up on this phone, so I'll try it on my other phone after um the stream because I'm using that phone as my webcam right now. <laughs> Um, in oh in Google Images it pops up too okay I think I saw a few um, images I was gonna say I think I saw a few oh these are sick heck yeah I really like these nice work very very good excellent. All hand painted, dang, that's impressive. And I love, I love hand painted skateboards. Like the detail is just so, ugh, I love it.
I guess I did my dad's work is a degree in graphic design. It makes sense. It it absolutely shows. He clearly knows what he's doing. a skater his whole life. Nice. Does he build the decks as well? Or does he just um, customize ones that like people bring in or send? It's like 45. Huh. Yes. Awesome. I presumed as much, but you know, figured I'd ask. 100% us. That's so cool. Oh, and 100% USA made. Oh, gotcha. So all of the individual, like, parts and pieces that you guys would get would be, you know, made in the US. And then you do all the various building and or customizing and stuffs. How neat. Yes, both. Sweet. I like stuff like that because it's just anytime you're able to support other local, you know, or, or um, smaller areas of industry that you work in, you know, as a tie in to whatever it is that you're doing, is very cool. <laughs> Us in the USA. <laughs> We're going to do our own ban on Twitch. Oh, rad. Devil eyes face though. Gotcha. Launch pad and bass guitar. Very nice. Yeah, that's right. You said your dad was a bass guitarist. He plays the bass. Mushroom head? The band? Mushroom head? I have actually. Um, because a friend of mine is from a small town in Ohio, and at one point, um, Mushroom Head was going to play their school, but then they did not. Because of some very tragic events that took place at another school a few days before. So that's the only, um, that's the only time that I've heard of Mushroom Head. I don't know anything about them as a band or anything else. 
but I have at least heard that band name. Oh crap, you mean my town? It's highly possible. I don't actually know um, what small town my friend is from. But I know that they are from small town Ohio. So is the scene in Northern Ohio? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't know what, where exactly my friend is from. Um, but yes, you've mentioned being from. I'm not. Is it a hard ch or is it like a shard? I don't know how to pronounce the name of where you live. The school. Sh yes, exactly. Yep. I didn't want to like outright say it because, you know, I know that it's kind of a heavy topic to just kind of pop into, but, um, but yes, they were, it was their middle school, I want to say. Um, I think they said it was their middle school. I'm not sure if they said it was their when they were in middle school or when they were in high school. They're close enough to age as me, so like 20 years ago, probably middle school, um, based on what our ages would have been. It's the only one that ever, yeah. Um, but um, a few days, so I guess they, they actually just told this story on um, in a TikTok that they posted a day or so ago, or a little bit ago. Um, and they mentioned that um, Mushroom Head was supposed to play their school, but then, you know, the, the Columbine events happened and the concert got canceled twice because originally the town canceled it um, because of... They like because of just like city stuff, and they didn't want to put stress on the cops to have like a concert at the school, and and then a bunch of the kids got together, like 200 of them got and went and protested. So they were like, okay, the concert's back on. And then four days before the concert was supposed to take place was when Columbine happened. So the town canceled it again. And apparently there's a whole documentary um, about the show that never happened. So that is all that I know about Mushroom Head. It's the only time I've ever heard that band name. Until now, when you just asked.
Because the okie dink. Anyway, I got to go. Okie dokes. I'm going to be heading off pretty soon here myself. So I appreciate you hanging out. But, uh, let me see. I'm going to get this to a place where I can stop, finish this round. Welcome. Glad you had a good time. So I'll finish this round out. We'll do a little close-up look to see how the hat is shaping up. And then I shall sign off. Calm with me down. I'm glad. All right. Let's do this. Up close and poisonal with the hat. So here we go. This is, let's see if I can get it to focus. Um, Focus? Can't tell. I don't think so. I have no idea if this is actually focused on the hat or not. I'm just gonna hope. And uh, I'm really excited to do my models on camera. I'm excited for you. That's been great. So here is how it is shaping up. And then. Um, go so tomorrow's stream is gaming um whoop. yes go watch my first stream. yes i shall let me eh i have followed you back there we are so that way i shall get notified whenever you start streaming and I shall do my best to be there for it. Have a good night. So we go. So tomorrow's stream will be gaming. It will be a different channel. Oh, okay, gotcha. Then whenever you have that new channel set up, let me know and I'll follow that channel. There we go. Hat as is. I let you know. Okie dokes. So here is the stopping point for the hat today. Tomorrow's stream, I will be playing the video game. So there we go. There's the work we put in yesterday and today. And then, um, make sure that my cam is focused on my face again. Should be fine. Tomorrow I shall be playing video games starting around 1.30 Pacific. And then uh, Thursday will also be um, Thursday will also be gaming. Um, long headband. It does kind of look like that. And then Friday night I have a concert on TikTok. Um, Saturday and Sunday will be gaming again. And so then next Monday will be my next crafting stream. But instead of picking the hat up, we're gonna start in on embroidering the patch that will go on the hat once the hat is finished. Um, so we'll do that next week. Hello, Cat Cat. Hi. Yeah? You don't want this stream to end because you want to just nap all day? Oh, I see. <laughs> nice sleepy kitten. Well, but I gotta eat dinner, and so do you. Oh, we can't sleep all day. I would love to sleep all day. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, kitten. Oh. So, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And we shall see you. <laughs> My cat has gone now. Um, 10 a.m. tomorrow, so 10 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow on YouTube for, um, well, this is embarrassing. There's the link to my YouTube there. And, uh, 
I'll be there for a group chat in the morning and then I will be here in the afternoon for the streamings. And I think that's all the important relevant information. <laughs> yep. Cool. Love you, bye. Thanks for hanging out. And thanks for all the follows, for all the love. I appreciate it. And don't forget to drink some water, have a snack, and I shall see you tomorrow.